Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. And first and foremost, I want to apologize for my voice. Apparently I was on the naughty list and Santa Claus decided to give me some Christmas crud. So today is actually the first day where I'm able to talk fairly normal once again. For the last few days, I sounded like Darth Vader with a mouthful of pudding. Now, fortunately, it's just your run-of-the-mill basic cold or flu. I think it's just a cold and not the dreaded C19, so no worries there. So this is actually a video that I wanted to put out about four days ago, but I wasn't able to. It's my Christmas haul. I know a lot of YouTubers are posting their hauls, so I figure, hell, it's better late than never. And there's one package here that I got from a subscriber that I haven't even opened yet. So I've been dying to crack that open, but I wanted to do it on camera, both for the individual who sent me that and for you guys to experience my reaction firsthand. So first off, some of the things I did get for Christmas. Now, I don't have a lot because as my wife put it, I never know what to buy you because you always buy yourself things. So I did get a lot of Amazon gift cards which fortunately have now paid for the rest of the Golden Disc Collection and Legacy Wave 1. I did get this here. This is the Transformers War for Cybertron Odyssey Collection MicroMaster set. So I held off on getting these for a long time and they were marked down to 25 bucks. So I jumped all over them. I do like MicroMasters and there are a couple here that are throwbacks to the old mask figures. So I got that. Another gift that I received was Generation Selects Art Fire. So I'm really looking forward to getting this guy opened up out of the packaging and put him in front of the camera for you guys to give him a good review. And that's really about it as far as things that you guys would be interested in. Like I said, I got gift cards, I got a belt, some shirts, a big old pack of hot sauce. I should show, brought that up to show you guys. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking and lighting my family up, so to speak, with some hot sauces. Oh, and a funny gift. Well, my wife thought it was funny, and I was, like, offended at first. I got a pair of readers, and I'm like, what the hell, honey? These were in my stocking. But one of my complaints when I'm doing Toy Hacks decals is the contacts I wear, I can't look at the decal up close. So I'm always alternating between my glasses and my contacts. These, you're going to laugh, I put these on and I'm able to look close so I can apply decals now without having to switch back and forth with my glasses and contacts. And yes, I'm that old. And let's see, Dylan, that's the last thing before we get into the subscriber package or the sub subscriber gift. Dylan got me this. A big old giant Lego Venom head. So I'm looking forward to putting this together with him. That's going to be a lot of fun. This is really cool looking and something unique for the collection. I really don't have anything Marvel in here. So I am a huge Venom fan. Been one since he first made his debut back in the day. So that is really cool. Lisa, my wife, said Dylan picked that out himself. Now we're moving on to the gift that I received. And I actually got this a couple days before Christmas. I think it arrived on the 23rd, but we were busy with family and everything, so I never got a chance to film. And of course, then I got sick, so here it is, this gift right here. It's in a Loot Crate box, so I don't think it's a Loot Crate item. I know what one of the items is, but I'm not sure about the rest. So we're gonna open this up together and check it out. Let me find my box cutter here, and we'll go ahead and get to Slicing and Dicing. Okay. And on the sides. And here we go. So get this opened. Oh, this is cool. It's a Bumblebee 
loot crate box. I was wondering why it had this weird design on the back. I guess you can punch out Bumblebee here, and uh, it's like a paper craft. So that's pretty cool. All right, we've got a note. Ah, ba weep grana weep ninny bong. It's like from Engineer Hoist. Greetings from the Space Coast. Merry belated Christmas. Here is the stink ore that you've been looking for. That's the that's what I knew was coming. Also included are some items that no longer fit in my collection. Masters of the Universe Muscle Men, Reaction He-Man, some Creon figures, a <coughs> excuse me. Two 1F dash X37 Phantom fit. Oh, two IF X37 Phantom figures. One for you and one for a giveaway. Well, that's cool. Thank you very much. Some upgrades from JRC Designs for Origin Bumblebee. Spoilers for Kingdom Red Alert and Sideswipe. Two sets of non-F hubcaps for the Dodson Brothers. And a Siege Singe. I hope you enjoy all this stuff. Shannon Grand. Or Shannon Grande. I think I'm reading it right. I might have to... Where's my damn uh, readers? These contacts. All right. Yes, Shannon Grand, her grande. I hope I don't screw your name up. There we go. So, Shannon, thank you so much. He did send me a message. <coughs> I knew if I talked too long, this would happen. He did send me a message, and he's like, uh, do you still need a Masters of the Universe Stinkor figure? And let's see. It must be in the bottom of the box. Yep, there it is. So I was like, yeah, he, I guess he saw in one of the sit reps. That's the one figure I've really been looking for. But let's go ahead and take a look at these items. Here is the oh, IF, Iron Factory Phantom. So there is a flat box. And there is the Iron Factory Phantom. That is a Legend Scale Mirage. So there's one right there out of the package. And as he said, he sent me two. So I guess this one will be a giveaway. I'll review this figure and then we'll do a giveaway sometime early in 2022. So, man, that is awesome. My Legends figures are really starting to grow. Thank you so much. And then we have, there's our Super 7 Reaction He-Man. And this one looks like a glow-in-the-dark He-Man. He's got a neat uh, kind of a translucent look there. Let's put him in front of the light. Uh, maybe he's just translucent. I can't tell. That's pretty cool. I know my buddy Bert the Stormtrooper just reviewed a Reaction He-Man and Battle Cat. And I dig them. They look very 70s. Kind of like 70s Star Wars figures. So that's awesome. Love the artwork. And here we have, what's that? That's Phantom Instructions. There's Stinkor. There he is. Been looking for this guy for a long time. Bert was able to hook me up with Web Store. Uh, I think Kato found Lop Beastman for me. I know I've got some figures from Fire Talks because my local Walmart does not get anything other than Skeletor and uh, He-Man. So thank you so much. We'll get him up on the shelf as soon as possible. And what else we have? We've got the... That, that's got to be the spoilers there. The Masters of the Universe muscle figures. These are so cool. I used to have so many muscle figures back in the day. You got Manny Faces, Ram Man, and Buzz Off. Of course, they're in a purple collar scheme opposed to the flesh collar that the old ones had. You got He-Man right there jumping. That's awesome. Then we have the Creon figures. Dylan has quite a few of these, so I'll probably give those to Dylan. There's another Creon right there. That looks like Bludgeon. That is bludgeon. I might be keeping that one myself. And then lastly, Siege Singe. You can never have enough Battle Masters. Well, note lastly, here is the hubcaps for the Dotson Brothers. That is so cool. We got a, what is that? JRC Design. Got some fuzz on it. JRC Design a business card. And there's the rest of the inside of the Bumblebee box. I dig that. That is so cool. Shannon, thank you so much. You went above and beyond. Thank you for the stink ore. I can't wait to mess around with this Mirage, see what he's like. I really, really appreciate it, buddy. That is uh, just very humbled and blessed. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher your last name, but Shannon, thank you so much. I really appreciate your gifts. I appreciate you being uh, 
a fan of the channel, a subscriber of the channel. And man, just, I, I'm blessed, man. <laughs> this is an awesome community. So that's it. That is my Christmas haul and gift from a subscriber video for you guys. Um, uh, Hope to do a lot more reviews in 2022. Hope to get to feeling better in 2022. Stay tuned for my top 10 list of figures for 2021, along with my top five disappointments. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube. And I got to give another huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helped keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hera! God, that sounded horrible.